Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 875 that says Coco eating bananas. So guys if you have solved yesterday's Deep Code daily challenge question then this question might be very much easy for you. This is almost similar to that. And yeah if you have any doubts then make sure you watch the video till the end. We will discuss each and every point of this question as well. So here uh, you have one uh, animal or you can say one person named Coco who love eating bananas. So there are n piles of banana given where piles of five represent the number of bananas in their piles. Okay. And there is one guard who will come back in h hours. So uh, within this h hours this Coco has to eat all the bananas from all the piles. Okay. Now Coco decide to uh, her banana per hour speed. So this is the speed that means this many number of bananas Coco will eat in an hour such that he, uh, the coco she will finish all bananas from all the piles in uh, h uh, number of hours okay so such type of speed k we have to decide okay and another thing to note here is each hour she chooses some pile of bananas and eat bananas from that pile and if the pile has less than k bananas she eat all the uh, all of them and will not eat any more bananas during these hours so let's say your speed is so here in this example let's say your speed is 4 and this pile, this pile has only three bananas. So during that hour, uh, this Coco will eat all the three bananas. And though it has one, uh, means it has a capacity to eat more, one more banana during that hour, but it won't do anything. She will eat all the bananas and will not eat any more bananas during that hour. If we have less than K bananas in a pile. Okay, this thing we have to note here is, got it? Now Coco likes to eat slowly, but uh, she won't. To finish all the bananas uh, until the guard returns so yeah we need to return the minimum integer k uh, so that she can eat all the bananas within h hours i hope you guys understood the question that we simply return uh, need to return the how many bananas coco needs to eat in an hour so that all these bananas from all the pies are completed within h hours simple as it is so yeah, if you take a look at this example here you are given these piles three six seven and eleven four piles and r is eight hour is 8 so let's say uh, for an example if you try to take speed equals to 5 let's say you took speed equals to 5 and you can try to eat so there are 8 hours so let me write this uh, and the speed is 5 so in the first hour a she will complete this uh, a she will eat 3 bananas she will choose this pile and eat 3 bananas in the second hour she will uh, eat five bananas from here and one banana will still be left so in the third hour, hour she has to eat this one banana remaining in the fourth she will uh, be here eat five bananas from here correct then two remaining the next hour she will eat two here she will first eat five then again five then one so as you guys can see if uh, the cocoa chooses chooses to eat at the five bananas per hour speed then uh, she will be able to he, uh, eat all the bananas within eight hours so what if she chooses four bananas per hour so she will eat all three then eat four and two here then again four and three then again four four and three so this way this is the com this is the means combination of r with the rate of four bananas per hour now if you try to take off three if she eat three banana per hour because we need to return the minimum speed so yeah, she eat all the three here she eat three then three 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 and then one and for the 11 last one 11 uh, piles with the 11 bananas she will eat three three six but still after six um, five bananas are remaining if you have if she coco has speed of three so yeah as you can see the best possible speed here is four uh, that is the minimum speed by which coco can complete eating all the bananas simple as it is so yeah and uh, any speed less than four that is three two one she won't be complete uh, all eating all the bananas and there will be some bananas left so I hope you guys understood the question. So similarly here, there are five piles and each and the total hours is also five. So whenever you have condition like this, where number of uh, number of piles uh, equals to total R, then in that case, what it will be our answer? Our answer would be simply maximum banana uh, from uh, all piles. So the maximum number of banana that is present from all of the piles would be our answer because uh, it is simple uh, see think intuitively if she would eat only 20 bananas per hour then how she would be able to complete this 
pile, right? So you won't be able to complete this pile because the number of piles are equal to number of hours. So we have to choose the maximum number of bananas in a pile as our speed rate. Then only Coco will be able to complete eating all the bananas. Simple as it is. Yeah, and and in the similar way we saw we would solve this question like um, for this uh, there are five piles and our uh, total R is six and we need to return the best possible speed that is as minimum as possible. So we will try for different uh, different solution. Like I means by taking uh, uh, thirty hours as a speed, then taking twenty five, then twenty four, twenty three, twenty two. So uh, the first uh, sp this is the min this would be the minimum speed and we would we would return here that as our answer okay uh, so uh, let me take uh, give you one example so let's say uh, let us take or uh, let me take uh, only th this example itself so here in that in this case so here in this case uh, see uh, our uh, total number of hours will be always greater than equal to pi dot length see it would be greater than equal to pi dot length so let's say here instead of a six if we would have five instead of six if h would be five what will be our answer our answer is 13 30 speed 30 bananas per hour speed so that cocoa will eat all these bananas if it would be five okay and let's say if we would have h equals to so how many bananas are there here 30 plus 20 50 uh, plus again 23 63 plus 11 74 plus 4 78 total bananas is 78 and if you have h is equal to 78 or any greater than equal to 78 so if you have hours something like this then what would we, what would be our answer our answer would be one banana per hour because there are total 78 bananas and we need to find minimum speed so if the hour is 78 or greater than 78 then coco will eat one banana per hour speed with the speed of this Okay, this is this would be a minimum speed possible, and yeah, yeah, Coco will be able to complete here. So if our is five or if our is greater than equal to seventy eight, okay. Now for any for our so the intuition here is our answer will always lies between this one and thirty. Thirty is the maximum. Like like uh, means uh, our question won't have our less than equal to pi's dot length. It won't can't be four or three. Okay, it will be minimum as five hours. So our maximum speed Coco can have is thirty. And the minimum speed coco can have is one banana per hour. At least she has she has to eat one banana. So our answer will always lies between one and thirty. Simple as it is. Now our answer can be let's say five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Our answer can be anything. And we need to check for each uh, of these for the best possible answer. Okay. Now if you go by doing this uh, by taking a, a brute force approach, where you will check for all the numbers like one, two, five, up till thirty then it will surely give you time limit exit data okay so whenever you have to check for uh, uh, uh what for the best possible answer in a range of answers then what is the best possible solution for this this is simply uh, binary search on answer because you have a range of answer there is a fixed limit the lower bound upper bound and you need to simply uh, find the best possible answer from it then what you will do see in this type of situation what we do is uh, up till 30 so we simply jump from uh, we simply jump up from this middle then we move either to left or right based on the some condition so if you have to move towards the left we we make some jumps like this so instead of checking for all the elements into this low to high range we simply make jumps like a few jumps and get our answer okay and the time complexity for this approach is we go of log of uh, this m m is the maximum limit or the higher limit so this is the time complexity for this solution this is binary search on answer okay so yeah uh, as i have already discussed the lower limit can be one and the higher limit would be the maximum element from this piles and yeah that this would be a part of this uh, while loop low is less than equal to high and internally we will do some processing okay so So guys, as you know that we have something like a mid in our binary search. So what we will do, we will uh, here what does the mid will represent? Mid will represent our speed, speed or total bananas per hour. That is total bananas per hour. So what we have to check? So we have to check if if it is uh, is possible uh, to eat all the bananas from this pile side M with the speed of this mid in uh, h hour so we will check it if it is uh, possible to eat all the bananas from the piles 
with the speed of mid with in h hours then what we will do we will simply reduce our speed we will simply and to do that what we will do we will simply make high equals to mid minus 1 okay we will simply our uh, uh, reduce our higher upper limit and move towards left and in the else condition what we will do we will simply make uh, increase our lower limit low equal to mid plus 1 and move towards the right okay so yeah this is the thing that we have to do in the binary search we take the meat and we check if it is possible to eat all the bananas from the piles with the speed of the meat and yeah and based on that we either move towards the left and towards the right so i hope you guys understood the intuition the first intuition was that there is a range of answer and we have to select uh, the best possible answer from that range so instead of trying for all the answers by doing a brute force we will do binary search on answer and uh, in a binary search on answer we have to uh, code we always have to code some for helper helper function something like this helper function where we check that if, if this answer is possible in this constraint like our constraints yeah and if it is possible then we move towards the left or right as the situation needed and here here we move towards the left because we need to find minimum possible speed okay and yeah in this is possible function or is valid function whatever you say what we will check we will check that if it is possible um, possible to eat all bananas with a speed of mid uh, per hour that is mid bananas per hour uh, such that total time should be less than equal to hour hour is a given hour this uh, or you can say uh, maximum time maximum hour so we will check the total time uh, with the speed of mid per hour to eat all the bananas okay simple as it is now let's move on to the coding part where we will discuss this in more detail so here i had taken low as one high as uh, zero but uh, yeah high would be the maximum number of bananas in one of the piles okay now here this is a uh, fundamental or uh, fundamental binary search uh, algo so we are traversing by low is less than equal to high we are taking the mid and we are checking is it is if it is valid to have a mid uh, speed speed of mid bananas per hour to complete all the bananas in h hours okay then we will check here so here what we are checking so here i have taken one uh one variable mid t that is the time taken if you have a speed of mid so uh and we i will check that uh, see here we are eating five bananas let's assume mid is five and uh, let's say piles of i has uh 10 bananas so what would be our time to complete that those that pile so it is two hours so we are simply doing this division approach right and yeah, if uh, if it is not modulus, uh, means the modulus is not equal to zero, then we uh, simply add one. Okay, simple as it is. So uh, this is because so let's say if a pile have thirteen bananas and our mid is five, so we will uh, so but thirteen divided by five is what? It's two. But still there would be three bananas remaining. So we have to add one more hour. So total hours here would be three hour. So that's why we are adding mid t plus you have one here. Okay. Got it. So yeah, this mid t will store nothing but uh, the time taken uh, to complete all the bananas with the speed of mid. So I uh, named it as a mid t, mid time. And yeah, if this mid t is greater than r, okay, the greater than total time that we have, then we will return false, else we will return true. Okay, I hope you guys understood this function. And yeah, based on the boolean value that we got, then we move towards the, either towards the left or this else condition will get hit. So yeah, this is the pretty much simple code for this question. And now talking about the time complexity so let's say the m is the maximum number of uh, banana in one of the pile then our time complexity would be we go of log of m into n n is what the size of the pile size of pile because this this complete function will uh, will take we go of a uh, log of m but internally this invalid here this will take we go of n because this we are traversing for n number of piles so that's why our time complexity is this for the solution and space complexity here is big of one as we are not storing anything other than variables so yeah this is the time and space complexity for this question and yeah that's all for this video if you guys have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you